Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video we are kind of doing a two-part series in that we are going to go over my top five makeup products. For today's video I'm going over my top five high-end makeup products and then for my other video I'm going to do my top five drugstore. My intentions are that this one is going to go up on Wednesday with the drugstore one going up on Friday so it's kind of like a top five week whether that happens when I come to edit it I'm not too sure but at the moment that is my plan but if not this video will definitely be going up first and then the drugstore one will follow either this week or next week. So I think in my collection I do have a fair mix of drugstore and high-end products. Most of the items that I'm going to show you here are ones that have been staples in my collection and my kind of everyday makeup routine for a good while now and a few of these items here are ones that I've gone on to purchase multiple times. The first one I want to mention is probably the most in my eyes bougie product in my makeup collection and that is the YSL or Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clac Concealer. This comes in at around about £26. I think other than eyeshadow palette it's probably my most expensive individual makeup item. I could be wrong though but I think it is but for me YSL is just kind of associated as being a bougie brand. This is a product that you don't really hear an awful lot about and I can't remember where I first heard about it. I just know that I first purchased it when I was on holiday. Um, this was, I think, April last year. I went to Gran Canaria and we were in a beauty shop there and they had the Touche Eclat and it seemed a little bit cheaper than it was at home. At the time, I think I'd forgotten to take a concealer and had a few extra sort of euros in my purse. So after trying it on the back of my hand and seeing the kind of fine lines on the back of my hand just disappear, as it were, that's when I thought I'd give it a go. Is it just me or does holiday money kind of feel like Monopoly money and not real? I think if I'd have come face to face with this and say Debenhams here, I would have really struggled to hand over £26. But handing over 26 euros or whatever it was was more easy to do but i am so glad that i did make that initial purchase because it is an item that i've well and truly fallen in love with i think this might be my only second tube of this actually because it does last a decent amount of time i think i ran out of the one that i purchased in grand canaria which as i said was around april i don't think i opened it straight away so I probably opened it kind of may or june time but then it did last until May or due time this year. So it's definitely long wearing because you do need the tiniest of amounts. I usually will just do one click and that will more than do both eyes. And then probably the next day I can do both eyes again without having to click it up. A lot of product does kind of come to the surface and you just don't need an awful lot, especially because I'm solely applying it under my eyes. I have this in the shade 1 which is obviously the lightest shade and it is quite a peachy toned concealer. This does definitely seem to counteract my under eye dark circles. Don't get me wrong when they are bad when I've had no sleep at all I do need to kind of layer it up quite thick or go in with another concealer but for my day to day life which does consist of no foundation applying this on bare skin it just takes the harshness away of the kind of purple. It isn't the most heavy coverage but for me I think that's ideal because when I've gone in with higher coverage concealers when my dark circles are a bit more prominent I do find that I do get creasing straight away and I also do get a bit of cakiness. I've never had that issue with this. Overall I just really like the effect that this product gives. Even though it is up there in price if I can get a year out of each tube I'm more than getting my money's worth out of it and I highly recommend it. The next product is another one that is a staple in my everyday makeup drawer and one that I could definitely not do without. That is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is another product that I do get an awful lot of use out of. I have this in the shade 3 but I recently did go into Debenhams and actually swatch the half shades that they've got. I was only aware that they had a 2.5 but when I was there they did actually have a 2.75. And it was nice to actually put this on the back of my hand and kind of swatch them either side of it. The 2.75, even though it is slightly lighter than this, it is a bit more warm toned. So, so the 2.5 did appear to be a really good match for me. I actually, as I say, did a line of this on the back of my hand, but then it continued on the line with the 2.5 shade. And there's not much difference in them, to be honest. The only thing would probably be 
whereas on this I don't have to press very hard for it to be at its darkest maybe with the 2.5 it does have a few more kind of levels of intensity so if I go light-handed with this it is still pretty pigmented whereas I think if I would have gone light-handed with that it wouldn't show up as much which might be good for a kind of everyday brown because it was obviously a well-used tester in the store I did have to press quite hard to get it to come out anyway because it had been used quite a lot but I think as a fresh product going through my own brows I think 2.5 might be right for me. I'm so glad I got to try it in person because I think when I do come to purchase this one next time if I can get 2.5 I will but if only three is available then at least I know this works for me as well so I quite like that I've got the two shades I can go between. This is something that I can fill my brows in in two seconds flat I don't even necessarily need to think about it. I'm not one for standing there for ages filling in my brows, I just haven't got the patience for it. So the more fine tipped, like the Precisely My Brow, it's just not kind of my speed. I do much prefer to just be able to kind of one stroke and I'm done. And because of the shape of the brush in this, sorry it's got bits of eyebrows and so slightly disgusting, because it's kind of tear shaped, I can just go this way for the front part of my brow and then just turn it round so it's horizontal to do my tail and then you do obviously have the spoolie on the other side as well which once I've applied it I do just quickly run through the brows with the spoolie. I can't remember how long I've had this one open for but it's still going strong and say I think the last one of these I got a year out of as well so this and the YSL are definitely worth their money. I can't remember how much this one retails for but it is 20 something pounds it always seems to be on sale on quite a few websites to use so I do tend to wait for it to go on sale I highly recommend this now I've got the hang of filling my brows in when I first did start filling my brows in I did just use powder but now that I can kind of use a pencil this is the ideal one for me it's just the right amount of waxiness as well I've tried the It Cosmetics Brow Power one and that was a bit too waxy so it just didn't glide through my brows and also I don't think I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one as well. This is just the kind of right level of waxiness that just, just glide through my brows so I highly recommend this. Next we have a product that I think may technically be cheating but it is a favourite of mine. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And this is a thing that you always get in these little sample cards when you get a shade match. I've probably got about three of these from numerous different Boots and Debenhams stores and the Beauty, Glamour Beauty Festival I went to. I got another one of these as well. And I do really, really love this foundation. And I don't know if I could necessarily bite the bullet and purchase the full price because it is about 30 something pounds. But I've never had to. Every time I go to the store and inquire about it, they always ask me if I know what shade I am. And I always forget, and I honestly do genuinely forget. I know, well, to be honest, actually, when I've been shade matched, I've been told about four different shades anyway. So I usually say to the girl, oh, it's I'm either this shade or this shade. She'll then do a shade match on me and just say, oh, do you want to just take a sample away? And if it's good for you, come back and get the full size. So that's how I've ended up with about four of these. And I've never actually had to purchase a full size. I say, is that chair technically cheating? I do absolutely love the formula of the product. It is one of the best foundations or liquid foundations that I've tried. I do predominantly purchase drugstore, and that's because I'm still kind of acquiring my taste as to what my preferences are with foundation. Out of the few samples and different ones of high end foundations that I've tried, this is definitely my favourite. And I think if I ever did run out of all my samples, and didn't have any of this left in my collection and when I went to the store they didn't offer me another free one I would purchase it I say I've just never had to I'd love to know how much actual foundation is contained in one of these to know how much product I've actually had for free this one I've got here I think is the shade Accru or Ivory Nude and then I also got a sample say at the Glamour Festival and that one was buff so I, I don't know what shade I am but I've got about four different shades. I think I've renewed the one that I've had matched for me twice now, so I'm gonna go that that one's my shade. But one of these little bottles lasts a ridiculous amount of time. If I'm ever going, say, out after work or something, like uh, last week I went to a concert after work, I just put one of these in my handbag and I was able to apply foundation and go out without having a full bottle of foundation with me. I've also took one of these on holiday before, 
when I'm on holiday, I don't necessarily apply foundation every single day. But I probably get about five or six uses just out of one of these little pots. Even though I'm saying I highly recommend this product and would say it would be worth a purchase. I'm first of all saying go and ask for a shave match at an Estee Lauder counter and get one of these for free. And you will probably get a good four or five uses out of it. But I do love this formula. It is really long lasting. It blends into the skin beautifully and it doesn't sink into my fine lines and it just gives me that really natural look and it is long lasting. So yeah, I highly recommend this. Next we have a highlighter which I love and this is the The Balm Mary Luminizer. I know I've said in the past I could take or leave highlighter but I do find myself reaching for this every single day. This is a kind of champagne gold highlighter and is the perfect everyday highlighter. I don't tend to overly like blinding highlights only on sort of special occasions or going out but for an everyday basis I just like a little bit of glow on my cheeks and this ticks all the boxes. It lasts all day as well. It doesn't tend to kind of shift around my face. It does stay where I put it. When I purchased this, I can't remember if minis were available, but if they were, I wish I knew about them because even though I use this every single day, I've barely made a dent in the pan. I don't know if you can see. This says it contains nine grams of product. So I don't know how much the mini contains, but I just can't see myself ever even hitting pan on this because I do go at the same spot with my brush as well and I've barely made a scratch on the surface so this is another one that is really worth the value and is one of my favourite high-end products out there definitely. I would say I'd repurchase it if I ran out but I just don't think I'm ever going to run out. And then the final product isn't actually a specific product but a kind of range of products and that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. I probably have about six of these plus a face palette with them in as well. This one is in the shade Exposed and this is I think actually the only full size one of these that I have. I always get these in numerous sets and holiday releases and things like that from Tarte where you always get one of the minis and if you've been watching my channel for a while and you've seen that I've had a mini of these in my everyday makeup drawer, I'm finally getting to the bottom of it now but I've had that mini for over a year and I'm only just finishing it off now and that is with consistent use. So once I actually crack into this one, God knows how long this one's going to last me. But formula wise, it is a really nicely pigmented formula. There are so many different shades you can get. This one is a very neutral one, which I have a few of this kind of shade. I have a more mauvey one, which is just a nice flush of colour. I then do have a brighter pink one, which is decently pigmented, but can also be sheared out if needed. But they do just blend onto the skin beautifully and they last all day. This is definitely one of the longest lasting blush formulas that I've tried. And I think I say a full price of this is probably 20 something pounds, but I just buy the minis because you can usually get a set of three things from Tarte for about £15 and it'll have one of the minis in it but formula wise I just highly rate it and would recommend definitely having a look at one of their gift sets and seeing if you can pick up one of their blushes if you do want to try the formula rather than purchasing a full size even though I would recommend the formula I just like to try and sort of save people money if I can and you will definitely get enough use out of the minis it is anyway is my fifth and final high-end favourite. These are my high-end favourites if it came to it where I did run out, I would happily repurchase any of these or purchase for the first time. But highly recommend these products and definitely think they are worth the high end price tag that they carry. Yes, okay, none of them are absolutely extortionate, but still they are classed as high end. So that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.